What's up, guys? I love how we're like, ah, at the same time. Anyhow, we are... I just wanted to film this because it's cool. It's not really for the vlog. Well, it could be. I don't know. Maybe we'll film this going to it. So, this is really cool. It's a company, I guess, called Cavalia. And it's Odesso or Odesio. I, I, I'm mispronouncing it. This big top is really cool. It's freaking huge. You can see it clear from the other side of the valley. Because I drove um, from the west side of the valley because I have a shortcut that I take to get pick up Ken's from work. And uh, you can see this thing, it's huge. What do you think? Oh, it's huge. And it's an awesome show because it's a, kind of like Circus Soleil where it's a circus acrobatic show, but most of the show is actually a horse show. Yeah. So, I don't know. We'll see if they come again in the future. I hope that they do really well. We're just too broke to... We're too broke. We're too poor to buy tickets. <laughs> but it's cool. Usually we see Cirque du Soleil when they come in town. Um, and we would... Yeah, but uh, anyhow. They got this cool look over here. It's like Las Vegas. Did I miss it? It's right over there behind the trees. It's like a Las Vegas style like sign. It's huge. You can see it off by 15. It's very cool because Utah... The only thing we get is like Cirque du Soleil when they have their traveling shows. Um, but we never get a big top show and this this makes it very unique because this is really cool and the video my camera does not even show like it looks small in this we'll video. We'll show it in comparison to the mall. Yeah, look at that and then look at the mall. It's like Meow. look at that. It's huge. Like, it's twice as big. It, it is really big. So right now all these construction guys if you look over here they're like walking under here. Anyhow um they just put this up, I guess, today, the canvas on this uh, awesome none big top. Or none of the actors are here yet. You can tell. Yeah, they won't have any horses or actors or anybody here for a, a while. Um, in fact, the show's not even until the end of next month. And it's it, it's the middle of March, so the show won't even be until April. Which that, that's awesome. It's very clever because this big giant sign right here, which is right next to I-15, is perfect advertising. So we are at Who Who Hut, Who Hut, and it's an all-you-can-eat stir-fry place, and it's actually pretty, pretty good. Pretty classy. I mean, look at this. Usually you think of Chinese buffet, and you think of screaming children and sketchy people. This is pretty good. We came on seafood night, which is even better for me. So I have to film this. I'm being very quiet. This is a Cooper's Hawk <clears throat> in the parking lot of my work. And right now he's got himself lunch. This is kind of cool and exciting. Probably not for most of you, but I find it very fascinating and interesting. He is definitely going to town. And I whistled at him and he got pissed and flew away. So I'm just trying to give him his space and his distance. Very cool how they do this. He's going to eat the whole bird. So some kids were walking by and scared the Cooper's hawk away. This poor bird is like missing all of its feathers on its chest. That sucks so bad. He'll probably come back. I'm going to leave here so that he can come back and finish his meal. But this bird will not survive the night. If that Cooper's hawk doesn't come back, he'll be cat food or, or whatever will get to him. But stupid. up? Are you videotaping? Yes. What oh. are you doing? We have a video. Where are we going? We are doing the 7-Eleven. Slurpy day. Slurpy we did this last year. We're yeah, going to do it again. again. We're going to do it again, see how you know this all pans out. it's one of our most out. viewed videos. So, the Slurpy day? Video? Really? Yeah. Eh. We're going to have to do this. Okay, so just to be clear, it can't fit this. It has to fit this way. It can't fit that way. Yeah. Yours won't fit. Oh. You got to pay 50 cents extra. Why? What are you going to get? I don't know. You Usually get pina colada. Pina colada. Coca Cola is out of service. All right, what flavor did you get? I got Airhead Extreme and pina colada. Mmm. I got Diet Cherry Coke in this pitcher. So you basically Kool Aid pitcher. Diet Cherry Coke. Yep. Whoa! I scared somebody. Ah, oh, yeah. 
<laughs> you son of a Ah, is that going up on the ominous page or what? So we are at the Wheeler Farm Farmer's Market. Look at that. They got just cool stuff. They got like beanies, a lot of handmade like soaps and whatnot. Cookies, we found some cookies. We can get some food in a minute. We've got some barbecue sauces and stuff like that. So just uh, pretty cool. Just filming around here at the farmer's market. We'll probably walk back and look at the farm here in a minute, but uh, happy Sunday, everybody. Look at how cool this is. Go ahead and can you tell us who you are and what this is and where people can get it? Yeah, tangentsandtentacles.itsy.com and they are resin and 3D printing of Buddhas. Buddhas, look at this. This is, <laughs> you got a little Darth Vader, little clone troopers, uh, storm troopers. And then they got this Batman one hiding in the back, which is pretty awesome. Like Chewbacca. She's got all sorts of cool stuff. All these cool pendants, necklaces. Some pretty cool art. So we got Rockabilly Barbecue. She got the shredded chicken with their tangy sauce and then I guess their barbecue sauce. Then I got their Cuban, which is, I guess, um, beef tips, no pork tips and whatever, but um, it's gonna be good. She's not here. She went to go look at somebody's dog and take a picture of it and pet it because she likes doggies. So, all right, cool. We're gonna eat this and enjoy it. Hey. I know you. Do you know me? I do know you. I know you. you. <laughs> How was the sandwich? It was good. Was it? I liked yours better. Mine? Yeah. Which is funny because I'm usually a total chicken person, but that ham was good. Yeah? Yeah. Wow. Look at that playground. I never had anything cool like that when I was a kid. We had the old school playgrounds that like they put in the 60s. That playground That are all made out of like industrial stainless steel. Yeah, the ones that would burn you when it got a hot day like this. Yeah. Yeah, we had a slide like that at my school. Yeah, they, that's the only cool stuff that we had when we were kids. You know we, what happened when I was a kid? So we had our playground. We had the slide that was made out of steel and then we had one of those plastic twisty slides. And some person during like spring break thought it would be a great idea to pour tar on that slide. I don't, I don't know how they had hot tar and how they got it up the slide and poured it down, but they ruined the entire slide. They like melted it and they had to fix it for like a month and everybody was so sad. <laughs> so that's what happens. Hot tar. Hot tar, literally. Are you sure it was like, tar? They just lit it on fire. I don't know because it was hot black tar. It looked like the asphalt that you build roads with. Huh. I remember coming here as a child on field trips. And this little clubhouse over here was the bee's knees. It was the cat's pajamas. See that dog? And that's a Rastafarian dog. Yeah, man. Anyhow. <laughs> no, I remember they used to do field trips here all the time when I was a kid. They'd do, uh, like, they milk the cows and show you how they make, like, butter and stuff like that. I don't think they do that anymore. <laughs> you put it on your video. Do they do field trips? No, not field trips. They do. Oh, I know they do that. I'm no. talking about the field trips. So, I don't know. But yeah, and back here, way back here, if you go down that road, right there, um, they used to do, when I was a kid, a haunted house back here called the Haunted Old Woods. And 
It actually was kind of scary. I guess things are more scary when you're a child, but... <laughs> like an afro. Look at the ducks, come here! That, that, that rooster. That's cool. Hey. Whoa, what is that? He just barely got shaved. He got shorned. Sheepies, man. Shaved sheep. It's Sean the sheep. Sean. This is not Sean the sheep. This is like Stinky the sheep. So when I was a kid, they have what they call the hay house, or where they, the, the barn here where they store the hay. And they used to let you climb up into here. And they'd stack that hay all the way up to the top. And they used to have kids that climb all up in there. They can't, they don't let you do it anymore. They let you climb on that little pile right there on the corner. But, uh, yeah. Babies. This one's gonna get a crook in its neck. <laughs> And there's one right outside right here too. The third one. They are very new little babies. Look how ugly they are. No, they're cute. Look at them. Oh, I think mom is being a little protective. Don't kill you. Her babies are pretty not ugly. Is Shonda sheep? Is Shonda sheep? They're so small. She is not. It's because I reached my hand over like this, went like this. She don't like it. She's being protective. <laughs> Ken's touching the ass. <laughs> oh, sad panda. Look at his mohawk. He likes you touching him. He likes me touching him, eh? Yeah. I like it when you touch that ass. <laughs> hey, you. Is his hair soft? Nice and wiry? Yes. Huh. He's like, there you go. I let you pet me. I'm not going to go back to eating. Come here. So, we just got done with the farmer's market. It was a lot of fun. Uh, we went into the farm because the farmer's market is kind of small. They had, really they, had, they had like three or four really good booths in there, so. We also got... I got beard oil. So Ooh. I grew my beard out. I don't know if you guys saw it on our last video, the Mount Man thing, which was like two weeks ago. Not even that. It was like last weekend. Anyhow, my beard gets really itchy and dry and it itches like crazy to the point I can't stand it. So I'll okay. shave it off. And so I shaved it off, but I want to try to grow a big beard. So <clears throat> that's what we're going to do. Big Mount Man. <clears throat> and uh, I got the beard oil, so we're going to test this out. It's a local company here in Utah, and they claim theirs is the best. I'm sure all beard oils do, but uh, we'll check this out. It'll, it'll be a lot of fun. So, what do we see today? Animals. <laughs> what kind of animals? We saw the sheepies, and we saw the baby lambs, and we saw lots of other baby animals, and horses, and angry geese, and I don't know. Angry <laughs> geese? <of> stuff. Turkeys? <laughs> He's very angry turkey. We saw quite a few of the of the, of the animals, so. Um, we're going to go to Ken's mom's house tonight, and we'll film a little bit of that, and it'll be fun. So, yeah. All right, so we're at Ken's mom's house, and we're about to watch Chicago. <laughs> Anyhow. <laughs> Anyhow. I'm just kidding. No, it's been a good weekend. We had a lot of fun. We did a lot of fun stuff during the week. She got a little sunburn, so did I. Anyhow, next week we've got the Mountain Man Rendezvous. We're going to film some other fun stuff. We'll keep you guys posted. Follow us on YouTube, Instagram, and Twitter under Dale Flink. Be sure to subscribe. We need more followers, so recruit, recruit. Uh, we'd love to share adventures with you guys. Anyhow. Anyhow, why are you still here? Go home already, weirdos. Again, slow on the uptake. I know.